Hello, hi, this is uh, Paul, and uh, I'm just going to show you uh, another uh, great um, the review from Nicholas Kate and the uh, book about delivering happiness by Tony Shea. And this is actually a book uh, I'm, I was you know, very surprised to see because uh, this is actually a book also teach you how to focus on just one thing. Remember we talked about that yesterday uh, from the Gary Cather, the book, One Thing. So, um, say, delivering happiness explain how mega online shoe retailer Zappos build a unique company culture and customer experience is worth remembering, which has turned it into a brilliant dollar business. And this is actually um, a real person here, Tony shared his picture on the Wikipedia. He said, money alone isn't enough to bring happiness. Happiness is when you are actually truly okay with losing everything you have. So this is actually what his motto is. So this is actually uh, start with um, um, here, I wish I was creative as Tony Shea. The book's name alone is perfect company slogan, Delivering Happiness. How great is that? It is simple. It's point, uh, poignant, memorable, and instantly tell you what you can expect. Ridiculously awesome customer service. So I, you know, I need to uh, quote that. And this is um. It's more beautiful things, you know, below. Uh, originally, the story by uh, starting by Nick uh, Swimmert in 1999, who initially went to shoe store, took picture and bought each pair at the full price, and once he had made the sale online, and what the business model, uh, she um, invested in uh, the two in the company to eventually become a co CEO. If you don't know Shea, um, Tony Shea is very. Um, he actually is an amateur knower. He found a online company called Link Exchange. In 1999, it was uh, acquired by Microsoft for about 260 million dollars. And then uh, Tony Shea formed a venture capital company called uh, Venture uh, Fog, and um, he invested in the uh, Zappos, and that was story stuff. And Swimmer left 2006 with all his staff keep in the company, which is then been a good decision. Depot was acquired by Amazon in 19, uh, 2009 for $1.2 billion. And she is still the CEO and there is plenty uh, to learn from him. Here are three great lessons about building an awesome company from his 2010 New York Times bestseller. Company culture is more important than the customer service. Choose one thing you want to be best at, and then focus on that. Invest in your in marketing and everything in your product. What um, want to deliver happiness to? Let's go learn about them. Company culture is more important than customer service. So that for family core value is as we call this is coming from their website. As we call a company, it has become more and more important to explicitly define the core value from which we develop our culture, our brand, and our business strategy. There are the 10 core values that we live by. One is delivering wow through the services. Embrace the deliver drive change. Create fun and a little weirdness. Be adventurous, creative, and open mind. Pursue growth and learning. Build open, honest relationship with um, communication. Build a positive team and family spirit. Do more with less. Be, pas uh, be passionate and determined and be humble. At the, his first company, Tony Shea made the mistake of hiring too many people and way too uh, fast and hyper growth eventually led to their team coming to the office looking around, not knowing who half of the people even were many of these folk turn out to be horrible fit for the company which uh, taught share a valuable lesson. Your company culture is the most important uh, predictor of your success. So Tony slowly 
um, tie slowly and carefully pick up the people you work with that what Tony say so make sure whoever you hire is someone you can go out for a drink with uh, because even the greatest uh, programmer won't do uh, your company any good if he is a pain in the ass to talk to so this is actually what he's come from so Tony said once he focused in developing a great company culture, the team core value developed naturally. This made company culture even more important than their number one focus, customer service. So uh, their number one focus is one region customer service, and they put the company culture even more important than that. Okay. Why? Because so we know that custom, uh, company culture and the customer and the number one focus will be very important if you start start any business why because it's impo impossible for people to give uh, their best service uh, customer best serving customer when um, they hate their work environment so if the company culture is great however then kid ass customer service is the only logic consequence a big step that helped Tony improve company culture and Zappo was to move everyone to Las Vegas uh, where their customer service center was and um, huddle up together and spend face-to-face -face time and grow together as a team and listen to be the best at one thing instead of average at the many Zappo um, entire strategy can be summarized in one word wow and that's all they uh, want to hear about uh, out on their customer mouth. They didn't try to be the cheapest online store for shoe, uh, not the one with the biggest selection or the raises shoe. No, Tony picked one thing, customer service, and decided Zappo would be the best in the world at it. They could, could have been average in all the above area but that would um, have never gotten them uh, to the billion dollars in revenue uh, moving everyone to Las Vegas and focus on company culture was the ultimate commitment to a single focus because this was directly tied to how customer service would turn out okay so If Tony could only teach you one thing, okay, it'd be this, never outsource the one thing that you try to be great at. For example, you can be outsource anything but not everything. If you decide to create a great piece of delivery experiences in the world, then you better be the one delivering the pizza. You don't have to make it, but you cannot let someone else handle what's supposed to be the things making you unique. Lesson 3. Invest any everything into your product and let it do your marketing for you. Being the best in the world is hard, really hard. Even those companies who might already follow lesson to often still spread themselves to think why because they are because there is marketing to do sales to be generated a new product to be developed instead of doing any of this Tony say you should just reinvest everything you gain into your number one skill of course Zeppo could have spent its initial profit on marketing campaign but instead of paying the price they focus on improving their core service so much that the price eventually came to them so this is very important because um, uh, the kind of like upside people think about marketing and then you have lots of customer but he think about you have lots of satisfied customer and the people will come to see check what's going on why right? you just give him wow this is um so that's why Tony said you just need to reinvest you reinvest everything you you gain which is your profit into the number one skill so customers are constantly wow with free shipping 
surprise overnight deliveries and 365 day guarantee and a genuine nice conversation whenever they call uh, with a question. Great phone service help them uh, get their customer to spread the world word in the beginning, but over the years, uh, their above and beyond uh, dedication have uh, generated a huge media buzz without spending the time. So my personal takeaway is I do get the message from Zeppo's successful story here. What I am missing is Tony's, um, not because it is it is in the book, but um, because it isn't in the summary. Uh, the book starts with Tony explaining his first attempt at entrepreneurship, a warm farm starting when he was nine years old. As logical as all the step above sounds, uh, you can even remotely guess how much work uh, went into the company and uh, the people beyond it by just reading the facts. I recommend you get the book. Uh, what else uh, can you learn from this book in the blink? Uh, you can learn how to use the uh, process of emanating to find your passion and why hyper growth sucks and what incredibly uh, simple things you can do to make sure a company culture is of the chart and why a vision uh, should automatically drive your uh, each and every move. So this is actually uh, very important um, to actually know your vision, which is your ultimate goal. And your vision, if, if your vision is ultimate goal, which is what you try to want to do, is um, it will it will be something also become your um, purpose because uh, if you don't have vision then you don't have a drive you don't know what you're going to do and you don't have that motivation a lot of people say I don't have any motivation that's because you don't have a good enough competent enough goal your goal maybe is not motivate you enough maybe um, you don't have um, um, a, a, the, the Good process to for you to prioritize uh, to make your go into your motivation. So um, focus one thing only. Okay, your goal write it down and um, make it to the today. So you have five year go and think about one year go. Think about your one month and your uh, one week and uh, what should you do today and will be result in five years from now you reach that goal so that is what um, vision is so important and so um, I'm gonna show you a little bit the uh, advertise we have opened up a few slot into amazing opportunity in which uh, you only work a few hours uh, but can uh, make a lot of cash and it's so easy and you will be amazed of course so of course require uh, hard work as well so see what I'm talking about here and today is life hack is I'm not sure that the experience is uh, you fill plastic water bottle a quarter of the water full and uh, lay on the side on the side okay not on the top side and put into the freezer and this way from frozen you can fill with wa regular water uh, room temperature and have the ice cold water on the go right away. Thank you so much for watching this video and you have a very blessed day. Bye bye.